Hi everyone! Hello. This is Jess and Roy and we are coming to you from beautiful Thailand and we are checking in to tell you about our few days here in Thailand. The first stop was Phuket. So in Phuket, the first thing that we did is I booked basically a party hostel. Yes. This is your first time really backpacking or traveling, right? Mm -hmm. Without a guided tour, at least. Exactly. exactly. And how did you think of uh, staying at the party hostel? It's pretty cool. And uh, I think they have a party every night at the hotel. And, uh... Hanging out at the pool, how do you feel? We tried to uh, join a one party. It's called a pub crawl. Pub crawl. Pub crawl. Yeah. But I, I didn't make it. I'm pretty tired because we started pretty early, like it was 7 p.m. And then I, we just figured out that they're gonna leave from the hotel until like 11.30 p.m. So before they 11.30, I was pretty tired. So that party was over. Yeah, his party ended a little bit earlier, <laughs> but it was still fun. We hung out in the pool. We met some really cool people and we got to experience the party life. And then yes. the first couple days in Phuket, we kind of took it slow. We just went to the beach. We rented motorbikes, which was my thing. I mean, the taxis there were a little bit expensive. So we decided <laughs> to rent a motorbike, which yeah. scared him a lot. <laughs> the motorbike is uh, it's pretty good, but uh, I mean, driving or in Thailand, it's, uh, I don't think it's a really good idea. It's a lot, it's too fast. I'm kind of a, a little bit regret doing this. Really? I'm not a big fan of a motorcycle. The traffic is uh, it's okay, but the, the roads are pretty narrow. This is the craziest thing, and then I should put my two hands on the, on the handle. You just asked me to do the video. No matter who, man. <laughs> the cars and the motorcycles are sharing the, the same lane. So, oh, would you ever like have a motorcycle in the states if we move there? No, no. I just drive the car instead of motorcycle. Motorcycle is uh, a little bit dangerous, but pretty fast and a uh, cool experience. But I think it's too dangerous. For me. No car Yeah, but you drive cars and stuff in Beijing. Yeah, that's true. But I can control it. A motorcycle is like a you cannot. It's kind of out of the hands. You cannot control it very well. Yeah, and I personally love motorcycles. I love riding on motorcycles. For me, it's like freedom. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, not so much. Huh? <laughs> no, not at all. No. Yeah, so we had a great time. We didn't get a lot of footage because I was driving the whole time and I will have to admit that driving a motorcycle while also filming is a little bit dangerous. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, but the motorbike thing was fun. Mostly we took the motorbike around Phuket and went to the different beaches. But we didn't go too far because this one oh. going down, up and down the hills like a, motor, <laughs> like a roller coaster. Yeah. Not a fan. Is that terrible, oh. the motorbike? Terrible. Terrible experience. <laughs> really? I don't like it. Come on, it was kind of fun, right? No, 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 no. It's dangerous. But look where we are. It's convenient, but dangerous. I think it's great. Too fast. Yeah. No. So we just kind of hung out at the beach and we found out that you are more of a relaxed, lay by the beach person, whereas I am more of an adventurous, go parasailing kind of person. Um, yeah. But yeah, you kind of, did you like the ocean? It looks really good. But I don't want to jump into it. I think uh, I'm a little bit afraid of jellyfish. And, uh, who knows what kind of stuff in the ocean? And no I, one knows. And I will have to say, I mentioned before that you really like to keep your shoes clean, <laughs> and you thought that the 
the yeah. ocean was a little bit dirty, right? <laughs> yes, a little bit dirty. So mostly he sat in the chair watching while I went swimming in the ocean. Good. So sitting here by the oh, beach, God. really enjoying our time and just kind of hanging out. This is your style, right? Nice and slow. I love nature, but I don't want to be too close to it. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. So that was the big thing. And then we, uh, of course, we wanted to keep things normal the first couple days. It was just so much traveling that we even went to a movie. So we went to go see a movie. And we've learned a lot here about Thailand's king. So basically they pay a lot of respect to the king. And I thought it was interesting during the movie. Yes. Uh, we had to stand up while they gave like a montage about the king. And so I know that the royal family is really important here. And in fact, when we were um, different about Thai politics, when we were here, they had an election. It was the first election they've had mm -hmm. since the 2014 coup, I believe. And the day we were here, the election, I thought it was really funny. They stopped all drinking from 6 p.m. on Saturday night to 6 p.m. the next day on Sunday. So everyone was sober during the elections. <laughs> Which is, I don't mind. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was a very different feel, I think. There was no alcohol being sold on the streets. There was no alcohol being sold in 7-Elevens. All the bars were closed. Yes. So that was a very interesting... It's a thing here. It's a seriously respect the royal family. So. Yeah, and the politics as well. Yes. So I thought that was very interesting. And But we enjoyed the street food. Mm -hmm. So while there was no drinking or alcohol, the main thing we did is enjoy street food. Come on, talk about this. This is your favorite, right? <laughs> yeah, I love the street food in Thailand. It's really cool and uh, the price is really reasonable. It's pretty cheap. And I love the yellow noodle here. And the, the, the kind of fried with the, anything basically you want. Seafood, chicken or beef. And uh, it is really good. If you come here to Thailand, you should try it for sure. Yeah. I really enjoy the street food. I really like their ice cream, how they made ice cream. I really enjoyed, of course, my smoothies. Everyone knows I love passion fruit smoothies, so I've had a passion fruit smoothie at least one pretty much every day. He knows this. <laughs> so the street food is amazing. Try the crocodile. Oh, it's a video? Mm hmm. What do you think? It's like chicken. Not bad. Not bad, not I already bad. tried it. It's not bad. And I think we just kind of had a slow day. We also went to the gym, right? Yes, yes. Gym uh, implicates uh, implicate the, the price is pretty good, I would say. How long have you been going? 17 minutes. 17? Almost 20. How far is that? 2.1, 13. Well, 2 miles. Well, it was funny because what we did was we moved hotels. This is kind of an inefficient trip. We moved hotels um, from, from our first hotel, which didn't have a gym, to a second hotel, which did have the gym, but the <laughs> gym was not that great. Yeah. And then it wasn't until our second day that we found out the first hotel uh, has an amazing gym just next door. Where are we right now? Gym. Fitness center. We finally found it. Where was it? We're next to the old hotel and we're really checked out. <laughs> it's a little bit sad. We're on that motorbike a lot, driving back and forth from the gym <laughs> and kind of going in. We have started to go to the gym together. I am working on my workout life, so we're going to see how I progress here in the coming days. So I am starting my fitness life as Roy has demanded that we go to the gym as often as possible during this travel. So, the best experience during this trial. We tried to negotiate the guy at the front desk 
really hard, it didn't work. No, not at all. So what did he start doing? He started doing people as all pretty tall, free bathroom. It's free, it's free. Oh, you can use the bathroom. It's free. <laughs> so now we're gonna well, actually look out. Yeah, okay. He doesn't see a lot of Chinese people, so he doesn't know how to negotiate with the Chinese people. He has no experience. <laughs> we just like you know, negotiate a lot. Yeah. So here we are about to go hard at the gym. And I guess this is going to be a regular thing. And then the last thing that happened before we left Phuket was, of course, the one thing I was hoping to avoid, which is we got scammed. Do you want to talk about that? Well, it's not a really good experience, but we did got scammed because of the small part of the, the plastic things right next to the path. And uh, I, I believe that it's already broken before it pick up, pick the motorcycle but, uh, up. But yeah, so, you know, when we rented our motorbike, she went around the motorbike and made very made us look at this one piece of the motorbike that was broken and she said look here look at look at this place it's the only thing that is broken do you see take a photo and then after we came back they suddenly found another thing that was wrong with the motorbike and i really believe from this photo that you can see uh it's actually still broken and i saw her before we rented the motorbike looking at that piece so I really believe that we didn't do this by accident, especially because we only had the motorbike probably for one day, 24 hours, um, 36 hours maybe. But we kept it very safe and we didn't really go many places. So I think we really got scammed. It was 300 baht. So 300 baht is, is not that much, but still it's not a great feeling. The one thing I wanted to avoid, um, but here it is. And then finally, after that, we kind of had negative feelings. We had to take a mini bus, what they call a mini bus, which is actually just a van to get to Aonang, yes. which is where we are right now. We're coming to you from Aonang. And Aonang is a beach. It's about a six hour drive. And this mini bus is basically a van that's packed. They pack 10 people into this van. And if you're the last one to get on, tell, no, talk 12, about this. 12 in total, actually. 12? 12 in total. And the driver is not included. So <laughs> plus driver is 13 people in the mini one. And if you are the one that ends up in the back, you're the one that ends up with all the luggage surrounding you. <laughs> yeah. So you want to be the first one to be picked up and you want to get that front seat. So now we're in Aonang, so stay tuned for our next video. Thank you everyone for your support and we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.